Avengers Endgame gave fans everything they were hoping for. Well, almost everything. To the surprise of many, Marvel decided to do away with the time-honored tradition and didn't include any mid- or post credit scenes in Endgame. Here are the reasons why. Spoilers ahead. As you're no doubt aware, a Spider-Man Homecoming sequel is right around the corner. So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. Marvel president Kevin Feige has confirmed that Spider-Man Far From Home takes place shortly after the events of Avengers Endgame. Producer Amy Pascal went one step further, revealing that the highly anticipated Spidey sequel is kicking off just minutes after the fourth Avengers flick. Seeing a Spider-Man Far From Home is officially the end of Phase 3, it sounds like Marvel is saving a huge Phase 4 post-credit reveal for that movie. As Feige told ComicBook.com, there's a tremendous amount of potential and a tremendous amount of additional characters and storylines and groups of characters that we're going to keep playing with. If we're lucky, we'll get our first proper glimpse at these new characters during the closing credits for Spider-Man Far From Home. Endgame is shaping up to be the end of an era, and the death of more than one original Avenger makes it the heaviest Marvel movie to date. The studio clearly wanted viewers to take in the three-hour movie before they began looking forward to what's coming next. As The Verge's Heim Gartenberg wrote, With Endgame, it's time to pay the check and end the story instead of endlessly escalating and teasing the next thing. While there was no post credit scene to speak of, Marvel didn't leave us totally hanging. Fans who were willing to sit through the lengthy credits were rewarded with a little surprise, a huge Marvel logo and the clanking sound. Sure, this probably left a lot of viewers scratching their heads, but fans who have been with the MCU from the very beginning quickly recognized the sound. As if to reinforce the idea that every film we'd seen was building up to this film, Marvel decided to make the final moment in the credits a nod to the Marvel movie that started it all, 2008's Iron Man. It's the sound of Tony Stark cobbling together his Iron Man shell from the first Iron Man. While Endgame was clearly something of a swan song for some of the original Avengers, the man of the hour was Tony Stark. He started it all in that cave, and he ended it when he snapped Thanos and his army out of existence. There's been plenty of news regarding the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe post-Phase 3, with Marvel president Kevin Feige having discussed a number of projects that the studio currently has in the pipeline. Feige has suggested the Eternals will play a big role in the plot going forward. He's also revealed that an appearance from Miss Marvel, otherwise known as Pakistani-American teen Kamala Khan, is a distinct possibility in the near future. Feige told the BBC, The character is definitely sort of in the works. The producer has been purposefully vague as far as details are concerned, and for very good reason. The fact of the matter is, Phase 4 is still very much up in the air. With that in mind, creating a post credit scene for Avengers Endgame would have been especially tricky. Guess we'll just have to wait and see what the future has in store. As a wise man once said, Sometimes patience is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little. That's very true. As for what Phase 4 has in store, guess we'll just have to patiently wait until Spider-Man Far From Home hits theaters on July 5th, 2019. You don't want any part of this. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about Avengers Endgame are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.